Today I have a very special guest. I'm super excited that James has allowed us to come in and really get in the ins and out of his business and what he does. Hello and welcome to Movement in Science. This is the channel you come to to find out how to live pain-free and increase your athletic performance. James is the head teacher and professor here at Alliance. So I'm very fortunate to be able to talk to him today because he's been doing this for over 12 years years. So we are going to get some really amazing information on basic movements to keep your body healthy and strong. So if you're tuning in and you've never had any experience with jujitsu, this is the person that you need to talk to. He's going to be able to answer all of the questions. So the first question that I have is, what's jujitsu? James, first of all, thank you so much for talking with us today. They are going to love it. I'm going to learn so much. I'm super excited. But the first question I have for you is, what is jujitsu? Jujitsu is a form of self-defense, right? It was designed to, so that a smaller opponent can beat a larger opponent. So protect yourself from a larger opponent if you need to. It'll help you understand the body mechanics, um, the push-pull, timing, different things that eh, other sports have also but it's more of a self-defense that's designed for kids and adults or smaller people or larger people to uh, understand how to protect themselves. I'm a soft tissue and movement specialist and I see people one-on-one -on -one, sometimes in their offices or maybe in my office. So I really need to make sure that I know how to protect myself. So I'm really excited for James to show me some techniques that I can use starting today to keep myself safe. I'm, you know, a very large woman. I'm incredibly tall. <laughs> so how could this benefit me? So what I would, what we would teach you is how to keep certain distances, how to ensure that uh, you understand when someone is moving, your timing to move, or how to control the ground scenarios how to sweep, different things like that to where their muscles aren't in play. You don't have to worry about how strong they are mm -hmm. because you understand right. what's happening and what's not gonna happen. Right. For someone that has been training in kickboxing, how is this different or how can jujitsu be a benefit to somebody who's more familiar with kickboxing? So jujitsu will help you understand how to get back up to your feet. So if you start on the, if you end up on the ground and let's say the person's still standing, you understand how to keep them away or where your body should be to not let them advance. And now they jump on top of you or something like that. You understand how to create space to get back up so that you can strike if you're more comfortable with striking. What populations or maybe people of certain industries or occupations could really benefit from jujitsu? So I am a firm believer in, in uh, police officers. Um, they would definitely benefit because they would trust their skills a little bit more. But um, also, like I know people that are nurses and things like that to where if a patient gets rowdy, they understand how to control them and, and how to, you know, slow them down, calm them down. When I fall, I'm going down and then I roll. But you see how I'm coming up, like I'm rocking. Check these videos out that I've recommended for you and also take a look at some of my personal favorites.